Jacob, this is Yuri, and Yuri is buying a car today. I'm not buying a car, I'm looking at my first prowler in person. potentially buy my Plymouth Prowler. Again. Again. So we tried like two months ago. Turns out it's a lot harder to find a Plymouth Prowler than I thought it would be. So we already talked about a lot of the stuff in the first video that we never released. Yes, we did. So let's uh, cover some points about the Prowler right now. Why a Prowler? Well, like as a kid, I always thought it was cool and there's nothing quite else like it. Watch our Prowler review, but there's like nothing like it. There isn't. Like even that SSR that passed by us today. It'd be a lot cooler if it was a Prowler. I've seen you get so excited about it. I hated it at first, but I completely understand why you want it now. And little kids, they get excited to see it. Like, it's just cool to make everybody's day. Yeah, it, it is. I get it now for you. And then, I wouldn't get it, but I get it for you. And, and the reason I'm entertaining this orange one instead of red or yellow is because it, first of all, has Lambo doors. Which, which can convince me. It is hilarious to have that on that vehicle. That I, is the one vehicle yeah. outside of a Lambo that is, I'm completely fine with having Lambo doors. And it has the trailer. Yeah, that's the best part for me as well. And the third thing, because it's not my ideal color, there's more chance that I'll go out and wrap it. Okay, wrap sponsors? Yes, so I can, might be able to do some crazier stuff that I wouldn't have if I already picked my dream color. We checked out that orange one. It had too many modifications. It we, had Lambo doors. The steering felt a little bit off. It had new suspension. It had like, uh, stabilizer bars and stuff. But it also had the matching Prowler trailer. Yeah, it was like a lot of weird things and it had a black wrap on it. Exactly. It just didn't have that spark that a yellow one did. And he wouldn't really budge on the price either, so But no I, he did sell it for his asking price. There you so go. Good, good for him. Yes. Then we checked out- He was a nice guy. He was super nice. Then we checked out a yellow one yes, at a dealership. Did. That was pretty far out, but we did check that. Barely was able to test drive it and when we showed up, it had an accident that he didn't tell us about. Yeah, exactly. It had a seat modification for tall people that got removed, so it was missing the angle thing. Yeah, the trunk was a little bit mismatched and misaligned, so yeah. that's how we figured out the accident. And that guy would not budge on the price either. Not even a dime when we found out about the accident when we got there. But that one's not listed anymore, so I think it's in cottage country where people see it, they buy it, they don't care. Perhaps. But I don't have that kind of money. No. And then in the meantime, there's been a lot of responses to my ads. A lot of people offering me their prowlers that aren't yellow. Yeah. I've been looking for any color, but the red ones were pretty nice, but the gold, the orange, the black, the blue, it just doesn't spark joy in my eyes like a yellow one does. Yeah, exactly. And I made you post the wanted ad because yeah. we were looking at all the ones that were for sale, but we just couldn't find the right one. I'm like, yo, just post a wanted ad and some guy's yeah. gonna find one. So the way the year started, they were all listed online at about $38,000. So I figured one dealership posted it because they wanted to keep it on the lot so it looked cool. So everyone who owns a Prowler in Canada said, well then mine's nicer, so mine's worth at least 38.5. Exactly. Well, mine's nicer, so it's worth at least 39. Everyone thinks their Prowler is nicer than everyone else's Prowler. Which was about 10 grand over the budget that you wanted to spend. And let's talk about mileage on Prowlers. Okay, so low mileage, high mileage is very different from regular cars. Okay, so low mileage is like 3,000 kilometers. Average mileage is about 40,000 kilometers. And then high mileage is like anything over 90,000 kilometers. And these are like 20 year old cars. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. And my initial price range was about 20 to 30 grand I wanted to spend. Then after some looking online and not buying a Prowler and summer running out, I, I settled at 28,000 and I'm good. Yeah, so you've already pre-negotiated with this guy. So tell me about this guy. Okay, this guy responded to my ad looking for a Prowler. So my ad, first of all, I am a retired man looking for a fun toy because people know I'm looking for a Prowler and if I exposed myself, which I did earlier, I got pranks. Yes, you did. People call in and be like, oh, I got a Prowler, let's go this many kilometers. Straight park sucks. <laughs> but people were also not pranking you and sending you like horrible ones, like rebuilt titles for like 25 grand. Yeah, just like lots of stuff. You guys have been sending me a ton of Prowler pictures and yeah. ads, I appreciate it. I wasn't gonna travel to the States, but like my Instagram is nonstop Prowler, so. Yeah. So definitely follow us and thank you for already following us. By the way, in the straight pipes. I still haven't bought this Prowler yet, so I assume I'm buying it because everything checks out. Yeah, the guy's super nice. We've talked to him. Okay. He also modifies Prowlers. So, okay, so I give this guy my number. He calls me, I answer the phone. And I'm like, I know my name's Carl online, but this seems pretty serious. So Yuri speaking, he's like, I thought it was you. So this guy knows me, not from straight pipes, from my ads on Prowler Online, which is like this old message board Prowler website from like 1997. 
and from other people whose prowlers I've checked out in other ads. The prowler community, everybody talks to each other, everybody knows everybody, it's a very small community. And then this guy asks, do you know who I am? And I tell him I looked him up on Facebook and he's got a bunch of pictures of cool prowlers that exist like the four door stretch uh, Lamborghini door one and some Hemi swapped ones. And I'm like, yeah, a lot of cool ones. He's like, have you seen prowler.ca? Check out that site. I checked it out. This guy builds those prowlers. So this guy actually built a four door Lamborghini door prowler. A four, no, a four seater. Four seater, correct. And then he also built a Hemi Prowler. Multiple Hemi Swap Prowlers. So his daily driver apparently has a V8 Hemi. So this guy is doing God's work yeah. for Prowlers. Straight shooter, everything he said was how it should be for a used car. So we are going to check this one out. Hopefully everything checks out. We are about to pick up the checks so that Yuri can pay the man and we should be good. So I guess we'll cut to uh, me try to buy a Prowler now. And you'll know by the thumbnail and the title of the video whether he bought this one or not. <laughs> I'm, I'm in love. I'm in love. <laughs> is this is this a car oh, show? Boy. Is this a car show? Yeah. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm addicted. I was addicted two years before they came out. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool. Cool. So that was. You gotta let me know when you sell these two though in the future. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he's so happy. I think he's gonna buy it. And I'm gonna tell him to buy it because look at this. This is probably the best guy you could buy a prowler from. Maybe the yellow one, same price. No, nobody wants it. I'll, 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 I'll buy it. I'll buy it. He's gonna buy it. He's gonna buy it. I'll do it. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. Come in. Yo. It feels good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you just buy a prowler? We're working on it. We just gotta go to the. Right. We gotta hop in the stretch prowler. We're actually going in this to the ministry. What is, what is my life become? <laughs> Jacob. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Hop into the back seat. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know if I can fit there. <laughs> Show me those plates. Ooh. 69. <laughs> nice. We <laughs> really also okay. just bought a power cover as well. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> just barely. <laughs> it does fit. We can't get some fresh Contis on it. All right, guys, let us know if you want us to review the Hemi Prowler, the four-seater stretch limo prowler. Leave a comment below. I would love to review both. Let us know. Prowler. Yes, he did. Okay, was this not the best buying process ever? It was the best. So why was it the best? What did this dude do to make it so good? He had the package ready with everything. So the used vehicle package, he had an appraisal. Because to get fully insured for older cars, you need to have the right value. He had everything ready in a binder and he just handed Yuri the keys basically. Yeah, I did the test drive with him. He sat passenger seat. He fully knew the drill. Everything worked out fine. No tricks or anything. He let me hit the brakes like I wanted to, test everything out. He showed me what he had done to the car. As soon as I saw the owner, I knew it was good. Yeah, with the, all the prowlers. The little display that he had for us. Oh my God, he had a car show of prowlers for us. You know what, I think I got too lucky. Like I bought the car from the right person, but it happened by chance. Like I didn't plan it this way. No, exactly. So since I bought it for 28.5, is this technically the cheapest Plymouth Prowler that's not a rebuilt? Technically the yeah. cheapest one that we could find. Clickbait, clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> so this prowler is a little bit different than the other ones we test drove because 
Everything is stock in here. Yeah, exactly, for the first time. And it drives very, very good. A lot better than the first one we reviewed. This one has got a lot of power. More than the other ones, it drives straighter and handles tighter than the rest. No. Yeah, I got it. Holy hop in, hop in. Okay, I'm putting, I'm putting out the video Friday so don't tell anyone. I won't say a word. Nothing, no posts. I know! <laughs> good! Yeah, we will do a full review on this later where I will finally get to drive it. I drove it very briefly, and yes, Yuri is right, this drives much better than the ones we've previously driven. And since this guy is a Plymouth prowler holic he pretty much helped me spec this out perfectly. So, it didn't have the front bumpers at the beginning, it had a bumper delete kit, and it had painted wheels. What I wanted was pretty much exactly like the plane picture. So, we've got the bumpers at the front, they're gray, not black because they switched over to black bumpers after like 99 or midway through. And then I've got the wheels up until midway through 99 that aren't chrome. So how does it feel to actually drive this thing? It feels like I was meant for this. This is you. I needed the yellow because I wanted to see the prowler from inside and it helps. Like I always know I'm in a prowler. It actually feels kind of weird because it tapers in. Yeah, so you actually think it's thinner than it is? I don't know where my wheels are. Yeah. And when you got in it, since it was stock, how easy was it to adjust the seat for a better seating position? I actually do fit in here reasonably well. Yes, because it's got the tilt that the other one didn't. Yep. <laughs> so this car does get thumbs up from Lambo guys. Apparently it does. <laughs> you get as much attention driving this than you do with Lambo. Like so many people looking at it, smiling, and uh, this is my first convertible, so I have already gotten a sunburn. Yeah, that's right. You did bring sunscreen, but a little uh, bit too late, not, so not you enough. are burnt already after not even one full day. No regrets. Okay, and then driving this thing, the radio's not that great. The guy already mentioned it, but it is the stock stuff. Ah, it's fine, it's I, old. I know, I think I might have to upgrade the speakers. No, maybe. no, maybe. Just leave I don't know. Leave okay. it. And I got a six disc changer behind you, eh? Really? Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm just so happy at how stock this is. I Dude, think that's the is, best thing. This is perfect. You couldn't have got a better Prowler for the price, and even like 10 grand more, I think. So, how good was it watching me drive this car? Because you were in my element chasing me. Yeah, so every time I came up on you, I just saw the rear three quarter, and then I saw the fender, and then it disappeared and then I saw the front of the pizza and I just saw the suspension and like this is the best this is hilarious are you sick of looking at it no okay I was sick of driving your element more than I was of, of looking at this okay I kind of like didn't see it for a while and then when we stopped I got excited again and then when we were driving back through Toronto I saw the reflection in mirrors and I died it was that's the feeling I wanted I wanted to catch that in the mirrors there you go this is your dream car you know what Prowler guys also did they ordered in bulk a whole bunch of little Hot Wheels sized cars of their Prowlers. What does it say there? Read that little title. Produced exclusively for the Prowler Owners Association. Yeah. Wow. So every Prowler guy has this. The orange one we checked out has this, so I gotta get a box of those two to give to the little kitties. I need one of these in my Raptor. Ooh. A little squeak there. Next snappingly <laughs> fast. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess that's pretty much it with buying it. Enjoy the hell out of it. Yeah, no, I'm gonna put so many kilometers on it. I'm so happy you got this. Thank you all for watching so that he can actually buy this. He actually <laughs> bought his dream car. Thanks subscribers, thanks sponsors, thanks viewers who aren't subscribed, but you should probably subscribe because look what it gets you. Thank you everyone for allowing him to buy his dream car. I already bought mine earlier this year as well. So now we got Team Prowler Raptor in the house. Yeah, so we're gonna do a lot more videos on both of these, especially the Prowler. We're gonna be taking this on road trips. We're gonna be taking this with the Raptor on road trips. We're gonna do the track. We're gonna do a drag race because I don't even know which one's gonna win. I don't either. Put your guesses in the comments below and cash in later. And we also said that we might jump this with my Raptor when you got this, so. <laughs> that, that's the goal. Yeah. Okay. We got a lot of promises. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Check out patreon.com slash straight pipes. Thank you all on Patreon and YouTube members for allowing us to buy this as well. <laughs> all right, bye. Oh yeah, next snapping. Not that fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Yuri. I'm Jacob. And we're going for a drive. This is a subscription break. Don't forget subscribe. to subscribe. Subscribe right now. Subscribe. We didn't even. We didn't do that. A couple more weird prowler things from seeing them online. What is your least favorite modification that people have done to it? 
I would say the flames probably. Uh, like the flames with the racing flag. Okay, the, 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 the racing flag. The airbrushing. <laughs> yeah, so there's a lot of bad modifications to Prowler specifically, like more than any other vehicle. Chrome, wings, all that kind of stuff. Just like people did the weirdest stuff and I was trying to get a clean one, but this guy's got all the parts, so it might be fine. Yeah, that's fine. The other weird thing that I find about everyone's ads in the Prowler community, they seem to have the most special one ever. Every single person has the most one of something one. We've seen what, one of 27, one oh, of- Oh, okay. The one guy had one of 53 yellow ones for his 2001. In Canada. I guess so, so it's like- Or in Ontario They sold or 53 in, in, in Canada, yeah. and I've got one of them. It's like, it's not special. No. <laughs> That's just you buying a car. Exactly. Like, yes, they're all low production. They didn't make that many overall, yeah. but one of whatever, like, who cares, kind of. Oh, and then I did find the Prowler that we test drove. Yes, that's right. Okay, so some guy messaged my first ad looking for a yellow or red Prowler. Okay. I said 25,000 to 30,000, and he said, I, I got this one, you can buy for 38. And I okay. said- So outside of your range, like well yeah, outside. Wait a minute, I'm like, how about 25? And he's like, what you should be really asking is why only 38? <laughs> And How much he, was it listed at when we drove I, I it? I think it was 32,000, but okay. we didn't find out that we drove it until he sent some pictures. And I'm like, that license plate placement is very familiar. And then we noticed that his license plate was a high number, so he got it recently. He wasn't an original owner. Right, yeah, that's what threw me and off. And then I'm like, did you get it in New Roads? And he started like asking back. And then the icing on the cake was he told me it was kept in a bubble. <laughs> when, I, when you sent me that, I was like, Get I'm pictures like, of like, it in the bubble. Send me a picture of the bubble. We need pictures of it in the bubble. He literally kept it in a bubble in his garage. I am going to try to get that bubble if I get a Prowler. You ha you kind of have to. Yeah, I don't think it'll fit the trailer though. No. I'll get a discount for that. Yeah, maybe. Okay, I got another funny story from the Prowler search. Okay. So somebody messaged me on Instagram and they said, hey, check out this Prowler. It's the highest mileage. And this was right after you bought your Raptor. Okay. So I look at the ad. It was posted 22 minutes before, no views. The guy you're supposed to contact had the same name. And I'm like, Are you, you him? You wrote this ad. He's like, No, I didn't. I swear I didn't. <laughs> and to top it off, it was a rebuilt Prowler with the worst seats I've ever seen, bad paint, bad mods. And what it was, was like the, selling for like $28,000. With how many kilometers? Um, I think around 100,000 kilometers. Okay. But like rebuilt title, you like rebuilt like. Bro. And what color was it? Purple, which is okay. Okay. But like, you can't tell people what car you want. You need to just surprise people. Pretty much. Hoovy Tavares style, right? Yeah, exactly. Those guys know what's up. I'm learning. I'm learning the hard way. Yeah.